Well, um, a student could expect to study what it takes to be an effective coach, what it takes to improve performance, whether that's an individual sport or, or a team sport, what are the different elements that make up a team environment, whether that's coaching, whether that's um, strength and conditioning, whether that's performance analysis, whether that's mentoring, psychology, all these different aspects put together is what then delivers the end product of an athlete. So all these elements together come together in this course and, and basically tells us how we can improve each and every element to ensure we have a full package of, of an athlete to improve performance and take them to the highest level. Of course, because my background has been completely different to what I'm, I'm doing now, my background in the sense that my bachelor's was a degree in commerce, which okay. is essentially accounts and business and yes. um, stuff like that. But I was basically pushed into it. It was not really my area of interest. I was also on the side writing articles about performance analysis and uh, reviewing games for a couple of blogs on the, on the internet. So this was always going to be my end goal. But obviously, after I'd completed my bachelor's, it was important for me to get a job. So I took up a job with Deloitte and I worked as an audit assistant for about a year. But that was something that I really didn't want to do. Um, and then I took the decision to do my master's in a field that I really wanted to focus on and where I wanted my career to be. So um, that's when I, I stumbled upon a few areas. And because my area of interest is football, uh, there's, there's no better place than the UK uh, where, where it's the hub for football. So, so then I started to slowly research on the different universities and the different courses that are being offered. Um, I was fortunate enough to, to get good advice from uh, one of my friends who had gone there and, and done a similar course. So he had directed me into this, um, into this course, into this university. However, I did have a few other backup plans as well in terms of other universities that I had shortlisted in the UK. But this was the one that was that I was really keen on, and I'm I'm really happy that I was able to get into the university and and follow this course. I'm really fortunate that the UK didn't put any restrictions upon the fact that my background was completely different, and they they still trusted the fact that I could cope with this amount of um, education and what they're offering so yeah really really grateful that i've been presented with the opportunity if i have to speak about the highlights i'll probably say the way the whole course was structured a fact about learning or being in class of course we did have classes in person but i think the the highlight would be the manner in which the assignments were designed for students it was a way in which we could learn and, and, be, and, and ensure that we get the knowledge and apply it in a practical um, scenario. So I think that was one of the highlights. And I think the second would probably be the opportunity to do a work placement with a professional organization, such as the one that I'm doing now. So I think to be a part of that environment, as much experience as possible from that particular work placement, I think is invaluable. So once you go forward, once you're done with your course, then you're in a much better position to, to apply for jobs or, or you know, be in a position to com compete with, with others who are having that sort of an experience. So I think that those two are probably the biggest highlights, I would say. The course demands that I complete a minimum of 140 hours of work placement as part of the course. So it was then up to us students to apply to different organizations, depending on our area of interest. We were never confined to say, you know, it's about coaching, it's about analysis. So we were given full freedom on what we could choose, what we wanted to do. So I got the opportunity to apply for Pontypris Town AFC's analysis role for the first team. Um, I'd applied for it and I got it. And so this whole season, I've been with the team, with the first team, providing analysis, uh, attending trainings, and um, 
yeah, so basically what analysis entails is we'll have to film each game that the team plays. And then later on, we've got softwares to then analyze the games and then provide clips that the manager and the coaches or the players would like to see. So that's what this whole experience has been all about. And considering the fact that the team competes in the Welsh second division, and we've been fortunate enough to now get promoted as well. So we will now be competing in the Welsh Premier League, which is the first division in the Welsh Football League system. So it's it's a whole whole package, I would say. I think it's not just me who's grown in this period. I think as a club, as a whole, each individual has has grown together because of the success that the club has had. It's, it's, it's really unreal because this was, I'd probably say my dream job along with coaching as well. So, yeah, to be part of that environment and to also get success out of it, I think it's, 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 it's hugely rewarding and satisfying um, because you've come all this way to do something. And when you see that you're actually making steps forward, I think it's, it's really satisfying. I do want to take up coaching as well, which is the reason I'm also doing my coaching licenses. So the university offers us students to do the coaching licenses as part of our course. So the university basically has their tie-ups with the FAW where we can then take up our coaching licenses. So I've been fortunate enough to be on the FAW C license, which is a level two license for, for coaches. So we're almost done with the course now. We're just expecting our certificates uh, any any time. So, yeah, it's just moving on from there to do the B and then and then coach as much as possible and then get on the A and then we'll see go, how it goes from there. So, yeah, coaching is also... I've also had the opportunity to coach the academy of the club I work for. So the, the club has been very, very... Uh, they've shown great freedom and they've shown great initiative and in saying you know if you want to coach you can coach and they've given me great opportunities whether that's the pre-academy or the foundation or the development phase you know we have different phases starting from the under eights to you know the under under 17s and 19s so so it's about having a taste for all of it so um yeah i'm really grateful for the opportunity that has been presented to me in order to coach different categories and see what each experience gives to me about maximizing as much as possible to take whatever I can from the experience that because you never know with um, with being in a in a foreign country you never know how long you're going to stay there so it's it's important for me I felt that I had to maximize my time here in whatever way possible so I just tried to um, take whatever I can from out of this experience. Hundred percent, because there are a lot of differences between India and the UK. Um, first and foremost, I'd probably say the way the coach education is is structured or probably tailored for to to teach aspiring coaches. I think it's it's very different from what it is here in India. And of course, and of course, the cultural backgrounds are, are completely different from from India to the UK. So. Um, and of course, there's there's the weather where it's, it's it's really hot here in India, whereas it's completely different in the UK. So I think yeah, it's, it, there's a lot of differences uh, between India and the UK, and the fact that UK are miles ahead in terms of in terms of football, um, you know, as to where India is currently, it is developing, but India still got a very very long way to go. But I think they're slowly trying to gather inputs from all the, the countries that are doing well, that are already there in the pinnacle of football to, to try and emulate them, to try and get India on the international stage. So yeah, there are lots of differences, but I, but it is to say that UK has great opportunities, I would say, because it is the, as you said, it is the home of football. So um, yeah, loads of opportunities. Well, I had to, because it's, as an international student, it's also important for us to manage our finances, our bills and all the other things. So I do have a part-time job where I'm working in a restaurant. So I'm able to get a bit of, um, you know, be able to pay my bills and take care of myself uh, for my living and all that. So that's been a, that's been a great thing. 
Um, and I think the kind of friends and the networks, the, the relationships that I've made in my time here, I think that's something that I will always uh, be grateful about because I think each person is, has been so warm and so nice to me. I think the country as a whole, I've never faced a situation where, I've, where I necessarily felt out of place because it was daunting at first when I did come here, you know, not knowing the place, not knowing the people, uh, and I and I and it was just me who who came here without any any sort of um, a friend or a or a person to who I knew. So so getting to know those relationships and those friendships, I think that's that's been a I I know for a fact that that's something I will have for the rest of my life. So it's it's an amazing place. I I definitely it's it's almost become my second home at the moment. So. Yeah, I, I hope that uh, it, it stays that way for a, for a long, long time.